Angeles. This is not fun. This is not fun. <laughs> What's up, Legends, and welcome back to another episode. So today I'm fishing a local kayak launch. Um, it just got built a couple years ago. I personally have never fished down here. I do see some kind of movement in the water, so hopefully it's something that's big enough that's going to want to bite what we're throwing today. Um, what I'm going to start off with is the peanut butter and jelly rattling Ned from the Guggen Squad. Um, had a lot of luck with their products this year, as well as running the Ned rig. We've had a lot of good results. Um, what I like about this is in the tail end, there's a rattle. So I'm hoping that's going to trigger some kind of aggressive bite and we can hook into something decent and get going for the day. switch it up and I'm going to go with something that's going to make a lot of noise and try to bring in uh, as much attention with these fish as I can. So I'm just going to go with your uh, Guggen Singer. Uh, the Colorado and the Willow Blade should be enough, hopefully, to bring something in and trigger that bite that we've been looking for all morning. So we're going to throw it out there and see what we can look into. Unfortunately, so far I've been fishing most of the morning and um, have not had any luck. I'm not quite ready to give up on this place just yet. I'm telling you, there's got to be something in here. So I'm going to move down the river a little bit, see if maybe there's a spot down there that's accessible to the river, and uh, see if there's something down there that we can get. Alright, so I'm about, uh, I'd probably have to say five, 600 yards from where I started. Um, really big clearing here, big opening. There's a burn pile behind us. So I'm hoping that that's a sign that this is a good fishing area here and people are, you know, basically camping out to fish. So um, I do see some bait fish, a lot of bugs in the water already. Um, the sun did come out, it is warming up. So it might be time to start throwing top waters. I am gonna continue with that Guggen Zinger for a minute and then see what we can get off that. And then if nothing else, I probably will switch to more likely a torpedo or something like that to trigger that top water bite. But we'll throw a line in and see what we can hook into. There it is, there it is, there it is. Holy mother of God. He smacked this pig. Look at that beautiful, beautiful smallie. Oh my God. Oh my God. What an absolute unit. Look at, look at this absolute slob. This is the first smallmouth I have ever caught. Man, I wish, <laughs> I'm hoping the batteries in my GoPro are still good. Because I saw something splashing down there, and I figured, let me take adventure down and toss it. And he smacked this thing. I can't begin to tell you the fight that this pig put up. So, 
I'm gonna get him back in the water, wash him up a little bit, keep him going, but I would like to get a weight on him because he is a thick boy. Up oh, there he goes. Unfortunately, as I was washing him off, he, uh, he swam away, but it's okay. He'll grow, he'll get bigger, we'll get him again next time. But let's get back out there. I'm gonna cast back over near those logs where I was, and maybe we can get back into it. Well, today didn't go quite like I planned. I did get my first smallmouth, and he was a huge one. Um, so I'm not, no complaints on this side here. I do wish we could have caught more, but that's why they call it fishing and not catching. But me and Michael, uh, I believe, are going out later on tonight. So hopefully we have some more to show you, and hopefully you like it enough. Maybe drop a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you always stay caught up on our, all our action. And if you want, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. But until next time. Welcome back, guys. So this morning, as you saw, I went out fish the local river and was able to get into a nice smallmouth bass. Uh, me and Mike are out now. We're at a private pond. We have permission to fish. We've done very well here in the past on top waters. Um, so I'm going to be running a filthy frog from Guggen and Michael is going to be running. Um, I think they're called, uh, they're like the bandito bugs from Guggen, but um, I think the brand is brand not Guggen, but not basically Guggen. the same thing. So some kind of creature bait. On yeah, it. creature bait is what we're going for. On a Texas rig. Yep. So we're going to throw these out, and hopefully we can get into some decent-sized bass. Last year when we were here, we caught a couple of decent-sized ones, but nothing crazy. So we're hoping that with the weather we've been having, that they got real big, and they're real aggressive now. So let's see what we can hook into. Let's go get one. Look at this thing. Ready for this fucking thing? Alright, let's do it. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, first bite! First hit! It's on, dude! <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Let's not lose them. Incredible. All the weeds. Oh, he's good. Oh, there's one right there. Finally. You should. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Look at that hook set too. First cast, man. Look at that first cast. Right here, right in front of me. Right in front of me. Oh, he's big. Oh. Come here. Oh. Come here. <laughs> yeah, I got my pool. He ain't coming off. Oh my goodness. It's two. He flashed up. He was on. Look at that. Top water nation. Gorgeous. A good pig. Let him go. God, right in front of us, too. That's gonna look pretty good.
first time that fucking happened. Oh, I am soaked. When the fuck did this tree get here, man? Oh my god. Christ. Andrew, this is not fun. This is not fun. <laughs>